War 3 versus Locke C. I am bringing Crossbones, Iron Man, and Cassie, and I am taking Path 4 in both sections today. Okay, so my first fight is going to be the hardest defender on Path 4, which is, of course, Spider-Ham. Um, yeah, that's a joke, but in all seriousness, he he's kind of a snowball champ. Like, if it is going badly, it's going to be go terribly, and if not, it's going to be really quick. And so hopefully we can have the latter happen and not make any mistakes. So, um, yeah, just throw specials immediately is kind of the game plan. Going for a parry combo, and here I'm assessing my power, okay? Get my intercept, and then immediately throw it so he has no spider nonsense. Okay, heavy to pause the furies, he throws that. And here I go into overrun, and then again, throw it immediately so he still has no spider nonsense. And uh, yeah, that fight is over, so absurdly fast fight, 20 seconds on the dot. Um, then I have Nova here. I didn't really have a game plan for Nova because it's Nova, um, but my makeshift game plan was just hit him, throw a special, and then um, heavy counter his heavy so that I can pause the Furies. So let's check this out real quick. Here we go. I hit him. That part's good. Oh, that was the other thing. Intercept before he gets charges so that I don't get stunned. And now I'm like, I'd really like to pause here. So first I overrun. Okay. And then I want to get the pause off. So yeah, heavy counter that, and you can see he's getting absolutely nuked. Special 2, which I dex. Yeah, he's gone. So super, super easy, straightforward fight there. Um, nothing at all to worry about. And I am on to section 2 with a Havoc. Um, again, Havoc is unblockable, and I was told by some trustworthy people that I could parry unblockable, but... Not enough to where I want to try it in war, because simply um, ain't on his trash is pretty much what I'm getting at. Um, so yeah, I'm going to intercept to try to get the steadfast up to make sure that I can parry. Um, and that's pretty much the whole game plan. It's a super, super straightforward fight. Again, with Iron Man, I can block unblockable mutant special attacks, regardless of whether or not there is a sturdy taunt up. But that is um, something I'd like to keep up anyways. All right, special one. And then, yeah, as you can see, I can block because of the Steadfast, and I'm going to try to get it again. And um, bait that out. So now we have the Steadfast up, which is perfect. Get an Intercept as well to re-up the tactic. And yeah, a lot of these um, things are not necessary, but just make it easier. I also like just completely ignore my Relic for a very long time, uh, which is obviously not great. And there I go for an Intercept, and he does not like that at all. Um, so, oops, special two, and here the tactic's off, so I want to be aware of that. Okay, can still block it because of my innate abilities, and yeah, there we go. Intercept, perfect, I have my steadfast again, and then I'm going to go ahead and drop the special one for my armor breaks. And um, yeah, at this point the fight is fully in hand. I can't, I was going for an intercept, but it really wasn't that necessary. There we get an intercept, or a ricochet, into relic, and uh, havoc is gone. So, super straightforward fight, didn't play it perfectly and didn't have a perfect game plan, but um, did okay. And then we have Rintra here, and this was originally assigned to be a Photon fight, but mine wasn't duped, so it wouldn't really work that well. So I brought Cassie, um, and the game plan was pretty standard, I just wanted to phase the special ones, be conservative with my fuel, and uh, watch the charges. So here we go, my game plan was combo, then heavy, combo, perfect, heavy, just for the knockdown, not for the power stings. And uh, check this out, here we go. I blocked that first one, kind of on accident, but it's not that bad. And that was a really, really bad phase, one that I'd like not to repeat. Okay, here we go. Parry, four hits for the poison. Those are all lights, of course, special one. Okay, and then we bait that out. And this phase is better, I believe. A little bit still early, just to be completely safe. But as you can see, this fight is going swimmingly. Okay, phase that too. And then now, He's at two, so I decide I can go for the four hit light into special one. And um, somehow he goes unstoppable, which is ludicrous. So I'm gonna show you exactly why that is right here. All right, he has two, which should be enough. One, two, three, four hits, five, six, seven, and all eight. <clears throat> proc a neutralize and give him a charge, 
which is, that's the percent chance. It's 1.67%. So um, technically I could have watched it a little bit better, but honestly, that was some ludicrous RNG that I was not expecting. Cause I saw that he had two charges and mentally I just went, okay, so it's safe, which is honestly a pretty fair assumption. Um, but in this case turned out not to be. All right, so now his charges are all gone, which is nice. And luckily he throws that special and um, we're kind of back in business a little bit. He is unblockable now, which is a bummer. But uh, other than that, should be good. His charges are back down to normal. I should have done a stand up there, but it's fine. Then we get an intercept, poison, and yeah. As you can see, this fight is basically over. But um, yeah, so a really interesting end to the fight that I was not at all anticipating. Yeah, here we go for the special one for the taunt. Knock him down. And uh, yeah, so that fight went without that much trouble. A little bit of uh, annoying stuff, but other than that, it was fine. And so that is my path done. Now I got to face two minis. My first one is the Void, and this one is node 38. Um, just the knockdown node with the prowess. And um, last minute I decided to throw on a power back boost just in case I get to special two because I think that would be nice. And I don't really have an explicit game plan here other than trying to keep up my theories. That's like kind of all I have. And then intercept, of course. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna knock down with the special one. And there we go. And then I'd love to heavy to pause if I can, but he throws that first, which is fine. Um, I overrun, perfect. Shrug the petrify. And yeah, at this point, we're pretty much good to go. I back off and heavy again to pause my furies. He throws that again. And um, yeah, the hit's kind of hard, but it's fine. All right, just gonna heavy again. And um, here, I go for the intercept so I can taunt. Okay, that's perfect. Special two. Some pretty good power back there as well. And I'd love to pause, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna have time. Yep, so they all fall off, which is fine. Special one for the Fury. Hopefully I can shrug the debuff, and I do. Okay, and then I combo into my striker and heavy to pause. And here, I'm like, I really don't want to deal with his special just because um, he has more power than I would like, and I don't have his ability to block unblockables. My tactic stuff is gone. So instead, I just turtle, and I um, don't let him throw a special because I'd rather not have to dex it, even though I can, I just don't want to. So that one's down without really any issues at all. And I have one last fight, which is a photon on hazard shift. So this one, I do actually have a slight game plan. And that game plan is that I am going to uh, overrun first so that I don't have to worry about um, the hazard shift debuffs feeding her charges, because I think that would suck. Um, I'm also a little bit concerned with insult to injury, although that one's not that big of a deal. Okay, so let's check this out. Here we go, I overrun immediately. And uh, yeah, she doesn't like heavying because why would you ever want to be helpful? So basically burns all my fury, so that was nice. Gonna go ahead and dash in. And special one for the fury. And I just want to pause again if I can, but she doesn't really seem to be playing ball. Not the end of the world. All right, I'm gonna heavy counter this to pause, dash in, which she dexes, which is um, unfortunate. And yeah, I also have my overrun back, so trying to get a special one probably first and then overrun. I may overrun off this. I think I heavy counter this to pause and then overrun. So here we go, heavy counter, and then dash back and overrun. I'm very hyper aware that I do not have the taunt up and I accidentally parry there. So the problem was, it, or if she throws the special, I'm gonna have to dex it. There we go, dexes, okay. And here, I just want to get rid of her prowess, because that prowess is looking awful. So I'm going to go ahead and get an intercept so I can block. And then hopefully she doesn't throw it here, but I think she does here. Yeah, so I block this, even though I know it's going to chunk me down. So oopsies. Um, and yeah, so here I'm doing damage control for both the prowess and also the um, keeping the sturdy taunt up. And yeah, here we go. Heavy again to pause, dash back to overrun. Pretty standard cycle there. And I'm just gonna punish this heavy and striker and this fight's gonna be over. And with that, my war as well. So um, fairly clean war and not too many mistakes, which is always good. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.